My name is Etienne Racine from Mentor, a Siemens business. If you have BSDL files from some designs and you're interested in converting them to an IJTAG format, well, keep watching. I will show you how you can easily convert standard BSDL files to the equal format using Tessent IJTAG. You can then debug devices by taking advantage of the features and automation that IJTAG tools allow. Let's begin with the assumption that you only have a BSDL file. This BSDL should contain the usual list of ports, tap instructions, and data register descriptions. Tessent can read a BSDL file and directly generate some tap-related tests from it. This is what we call the BSDL-only flow. You can create Verilog test benches or pattern files in the usual tester formats using this very simple do file. The tests are limited to the standard 1149.1 or .6 tests, such as the ones you see here. So what if your BSDL contains other special test data registers, or TDRs, that you need to access in order to debug a chip, for example? By converting your BSDL to a nickel file, a lot of great plug-and-play usage and automation becomes possible, and that's why there is an industry movement toward IJTAG. Here, we have a 24-bit debug register TDR that can be accessed via the tap. We want to program some of its bits and observe others. The BSDL to echo conversion is achieved with the following do file. We begin by reading an initial temporary echo file that was manually created. Using this special access link without instructions option, the tools will automatically enhance and update the initial echo file based on the BSDL information. The tool enhanced echo description then gets saved as a fully 1687 compliant equal description of this example chip. We then use it to perform not only TAP related tests, but also IJTAG based accesses. Here's what the initial equal description contains. As you can see, it's pretty simple. The various data in and data out ports are completely optional. You should only list them if they are necessary from an IJTAG standpoint. The key part is the access link wrapper, which enhances the echo module defined by the BSDL entity, named BASIC here, and it does so by instantiating a tap equipped with the key features described as per the BSDL. That's it. Now let's invoke test and shell with the previously described do file. The tool runs and now lists the echo network verification patterns in addition to the standard tap tests. This echo network pattern file will verify that the newly created echo description correctly matches our example device. Now taking a look at the echo file that we just created, we can see it contains a lot more data than the initial file we supplied. In practice, this new echo file models all of the instructions and data registers that were previously described within the BSDL. Going back to our 24-bit debug register, we could, for example, use the following do file to read the newly generated echo, and we could apply some PDL commands. Here, write a 1 to bit 13 and read the 8 LSBs or least significant bits before comparing them against the expected value. Looking at the tool generated test patterns, the retargeted PDL effectively contains the necessary test sequences to properly access the debug register. In fact, the tools automatically figured how to get through the tap, and that's thanks to IJTAG, which is like a GPS for your test vectors. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this short how-to video. Thanks for watching, and please don't hesitate to share if you like it.